Hi everyone, what's up? Some of my viewers have the queries of how to use the percentage options or how to get the percentage values in a pivot table. So today in this video tutorial, we are going to show you how to use the pivot table where you have got the percentage value. I will show you in different criteria and different scenarios. So we are going to take the scenario of a voting option in a custom company and we are going to work through this. So here I have created a pivot table where I have the total vote percentage and candidates where I got the percentage value of each candidates according to the variation of gender of your voting database, right? I have also created some group of age system here. Look at here, you can notice each of the data have a separate value, right? And I will also show you how to create different scenario of pivot tables, how to get this type of data structure and I am going to show an important tip and tricks to get a pivot chart automatically just within pressing a simple key combination from your keyboard. So welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel pivot table and dashboard series. This is your host Pritham. Make sure to like this video, subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get all notification whenever a new video comes into this channel. So let's get into the tutorial how to do it. At first let me show you how to create this type of pivot table where I have the row labels according to the gender candidates into the column section and the values are into percentage form of the database. Go to the insert tab, click on pivot table. Now if you didn't watch my previous video of pivot table, I will highly recommend you to watch that videos first to understand how to use the pivot table properly. Now I am going to create the pivot table here. So I need to select the location here. Click on OK. Look at here, one pivot table field has been appeared here. Now at first we need the row labels, right? as the gender. So where is the gender? Here it is. Just put it here as rows. Right? Now here as the values we have the look at here total vote percentage. So that's on the voted on percent. Drag the voted on option from here to values. Look at here. Now this doesn't look like this. Here we got the count on voted on. Let me create the pivot table at first. Then I will customize it. Right? Now here I got the option A, B or C. Right? That's also into the voted on range. Right? Here is the voted on. So look at here, just drag the voted on again and drop it into the columns option. Look at here, the pivot table has been created successfully according to this database, right? Now how to get the percentage value? That's so much easy, just right click on any of the values here. Note that carefully, not here or here, you need to right click on the value right click on the value field only right then go to the show value as and percentage of grand total look at here you got the percentage values here right now how to customize it as column labels and total vote percentage just double click on it and change the names total vote percentage right and here also you can do it as candidates now how to create the age wise group. If you remember the raw data that I have the birth date here, gender, age, salary, minority and voted on here. So I have the age option here, right? So go to the pivot table, click on here. So the pivot table fields option will open up. Now what you need to do, just click on the age, drag it to the rows field at the below of gender. Now look at here, your database has been so longer. How to create a shorter pivot table like this one? Just right click on this one, select group. Now here I want custom group option, right? So at first I am typing 10 as the starting at option, ending at suppose 200 and the difference should be between 10, 
look at here age group has been created successfully and the percentage is showing according to the age group now let me talk about the these two pivot table insert a pivot table again and the location should be beside of that pivot table so i can show you the results properly okay look at here here you can notice that i have the candidates option total votes and vote percentage right as the candidates these option are the voted on rows right so just drag it here to the rows look at here it has been created now the total votes that's also the voted on note that carefully look at here one count of voted on has been created and again i need one voted on now double click on this data rename it as custom name as total votes okay again double click on this one and here i need the vote percentage right click on okay now here i didn't get any of the percentage value right click on it show value as percentage of grand total look at here the data has been created successfully now how to create this set of icons here just select the database go to the home tab click on conditional formatting then icon sets and i have used this one you can also use any one from here so i am using this one look at here the data has been created successfully as this one now how to create this type of pivot table you can do it by yourself simply i need the gender option here so drag the gender option from here to columns look at here the percentage has been created successfully but we do not need this one look at here the data has been created successfully and now as we need the percentage option also so we need to right click on it show value as percentage of grand total that's all that's all from the pivot table percentage right So in my next video I'll show you how to create percentage values from a salary sheet. So that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video. I will come back soon with another interesting video. Don't forget to share your opinions as well as your queries into the comment section. Till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.